one of the many things that I look forward to on a Christmas morning is an overindulgent breakfast. And this year on my menu are chocolate waffles that I'm going to load with Oreos, served with vanilla ice cream and some chocolate sauce. Let's get started. So I'm starting with some warm milk. And into this I'm adding 2 tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Now let's give this a good mix. And we'll set it aside on the counter and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes so that the milk can curdle. Meanwhile, in this borosil bowl, I'm going to add some maida, some cocoa powder, coffee powder, baking powder, baking soda, along with some super fine sugar. Let's combine everything together. By the way, these borosils 100% borosilicate glass mixing bowls are microwave and oven safe and are super easy to clean and handle. I am now also going to set aside our dry mix and meanwhile you will see that our milk has curdled. Into this I am adding some oil, I am using sunflower oil today along with some good quality vanilla extract. All my wet ingredients are in this bowl and now using my Borosil smart hand mixer I am going to give everything a good mix. This looks good, I am now going to dump in the dry mix that we had set aside earlier and combine it in as well. Borosil smart hand mixer comes with 5 variable speed options and a pair of chrome finish beaters which will help me make a super smooth waffle batter. So my batter is ready and now to take it up a notch I am going to add in some crushed Oreos which are completely optional but taste great so add them in and give your batter one final mix. This batter is good to go. Today I am using my Borosil Neo Waffle Maker. This waffle maker is the perfect addition to my kitchen as it's aesthetically designed and has some super cool features like a 90 degree easy access and automatic temperature control. Which is why I am super excited because I am gifting this waffle maker to one of you guys watching this. So make sure you check out the description box with all the details and participate in the contest. I've preheated my waffle maker and I'm now going to brush it with some melted butter. My most favorite feature is that both the waffle plates are non-stick so I don't have to worry about my waffles burning or sticking to the bottom. I've scooped in my waffle batter and now it's time to wait for them to get nice and crisp. And while we wait, let's make the chocolate sauce that we are going to top our waffles with. For which, simply on a double boiler, I'm going to melt some milk chocolate. With a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil.
These chocolate waffles are perfect for breakfast on absolutely any day and even better on the Christmas morning. I hope you guys will try this recipe out in your kitchen this year and share pictures on Instagram by tagging me at shave17. Don't forget to participate in the contest and I'll see you guys next week with another recipe. Until then, happy baking and merry christmas.